The NYPD was deployed last night to rein in the violent and lawless anti-Israel protests springing up all over the country. Viral video showing NYPD removing the Palestinian flag that was raised at the city college there and restoring the American flag. This follows the, the House voting on this anti-Semitism. They're about ready to vote on this anti-Semitism Awareness Act. Why would we fund a Department of Education that gives billions of dollars to these institutions teaching anti-Semitic hatred, where it's just this rot that's inside of their board of governors and their boards of admissions and their tenured professors. Why would we fund that? That's continue, resolving to continue these Democrat priorities, and it should have never happened. I totally agree with that. And that has to be the line. And, and that's the line, I think, uh, if you get a Donald Trump in there uh, to, to go out there and do it again. But it makes no sense. It's just pure rot in these institution of liberal indoctrination. Joe Biden wants to bring over a whole bunch of 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 Palestinians, unvetted Palestinians. They'll, they say they're going to vet them, but you know they never do. Do we anticipate the Republicans will allow Joe Biden to bring untold thousands of Palestinians in the same fashion into the United States? Anything you think your Republican colleagues will do to stop this? There's going to be resolutions that speak out against this. Ultimately, for any legislation to become law, has to go through the House. Schumer will stop it in the Senate. Obviously, Joe Biden's not going to sign it into law because he believes in the idea of his version of vetting for this is essentially, well, if one of these Palestinians has an American that maybe he already or, or somebody, a Palestinian that he already let in illegally, if there's already one here in America, well, that's good enough. That's the vetting process. We'll let them come in. Even though Egypt who's right on their border, considers them too much of a national security risk to let into Egypt, we'll just invite them into America. That's going to be the vetting policy. And uh, again, I don't actually, I'm not going to pretend to you, I'm not going to lie to you, that I see a policy going through the House, the Senate, and across the president's desk that prevents the president from doing what he's thinking about doing right now. And that's the stupidity of this. Well, yeah, exactly. It's, it's hard to fund a flight when you have no funds, but Apparently, uh, this this regime, the Biden regime, is wa awash in cash, as you and I have just been detailing. Thank you, Congressman. You said something Mass. very important. I'd, I'd repeat yeah, what you said ahead, very quickly. And it was simply this. You said, you know, you're working to make the, the complex understandable. And you're rightfully doing that. D.C. is constantly working to make the understandable complex. So thanks for working on that. <laughs> exactly. Congressman Mass, thank you very much. Hey everyone, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please click like and subscribe. I will be back on YouTube with more exclusive content, so stay tuned.